If you fancy a meat-free meal, you're gonna love this. We've got just the dish for you. It's a Mexican bean pie. So I've been out to Lidl and I've picked up some of their award-winning veggies. I've got beans, sweet corn, some tin tomatoes. Of course it's a Mexican meal, so I've got some lime there as well and a butternut squash. So let's get started. Grab your chopped onions. They're just gonna cook for around eight minutes and you want those to go nice and soft. Right, there we go. Then add your garlic and cook that for around another minute. Onto the butternut squash. So I've just cut it in half. I've taken the skin off. We're gonna grate this in, into that onion and garlic mix. And the brilliant thing is it's really gonna bulk out the dish. Now it's time for the spices. Start with the paprika. They need about a tablespoon. Same for the ground cumin. And then you don't want to make it too spicy. So just about a teaspoon of chili powder. And you know what? It's a dish that just smells like winter. Okay, next I'm going to tip in the tin tomatoes. I'm going to add in the beans and the sweet corn. And then my favorite simple trick, just get an empty can, fill it about halfway full with water and throw that into the dish as well. Give your mixture a really good season. Let that simmer for around 30, 35 minutes until it's reduced right down and that squash is nice and soft. So to give this pie a bit of a twist, we're gonna create a really nice nacho style crispy topping using two tortillas. Now this is really simple. Just cut down the middle, cut again either side like so, and then you're just gonna shape your tortillas into little triangles. Right, there we go. It's ready for the oven and we're just gonna pop it in for 10 minutes. These need to be crisp and brown just to give your pie a really good crunch. Back to the squash and beans mixture. You're just gonna chop up and add in most of your coriander and then what would a Mexican dish be without some lime? Squeeze it in for a bit of zing. Next, I'm gonna grab a pie dish and then just spoon in that bean mixture. And then once you've done that, just arrange your little tortillas on top, just like their little nachos. Now it's time for arguably the best bit. You get to put all the cheese on top. Now I'm using vegan cheese. This is from Lidl's really brilliant range, but you can always use cheddar. Once you've grated up your cheese, sprinkle that on top. Change your oven to grill setting and then you're ready to go. Leave that under the grill for around three or four minutes just until the cheese starts to really bubble. Oh, what a beautiful sight. And here it is. Just sprinkle over a little bit of coriander and there you have it. Your delicious Mexican bean pie is complete. <laughs>